All right, guys, today is the day we're starting season two of The Boys. <laughs> and this show is actually, honestly, probably one of the weirdest shows I've ever seen in my life. Absolutely. I'm hoping it gets a lot stranger in season two. Uh, I didn't know what to think about season one. Uh, season two is probably about to be crazy. You guys said the show only gets crazier. And I've seen some things I can't get out of my head. So right. Homelander is basically hooking up with your boy's girl or something like that. They got like a whole strange family going on or something. I think, I think it's a little more sinister than that. But yeah. It's the butcher. All right, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon. The notification bell. Uh, <laughs> tongue the notification bell. Let's go. <laughs>
Is that the deep? Yeah. <laughs> Why is he just drinking pina colada sad? Yeah, he's Jewish. Oh. He had a yarmulke. Hey, that's my shoulder. What? <laughs> right there. It cut me from the picture. The can't... He's cut me from the fucking picture. They can't cut me out. Hey, okay, that's enough. Just give me another fucking lava flow. I said it's time to go or I call TMZ. <laughs> <laughs> he just wants his fame back. <laughs> TMZ's whipping Off his side, ass. Side, never out of mine. Two for sixty-four dollars. Uh uh. Side, never out of mine. Two for sixty-four dollars. He's probably seen all y'all naked in a bathroom somewhere. Y'all just have no idea. They got that invisible coffin. Good to see you. There you go. <laughs> Homelander, Starlight, I David. Did. How's everyone holding up in the tower? It's hard. It's really hard. What comes in waves? You know? Yeah, but this one, he's just really been our rock. <laughs> he sat us down and he said, We're more than just a team, we're a family. Oh, Starlight. Thank you for saying that. Really, I don't know where we would be without you. Isn't she the best? <laughs> you both have. Uh oh. <laughs> he's about to have something in common with. Billy Butcher. Uh huh. Without women, life would be so boring. <laughs> like, that's what every plot's about, right? That's my daily challenge. <laughs> Keeping you happy. I'm excited. For yeah, some this show's going crazy I, right now. I let, what is going on with Annie, though? <laughs> She's, like, She's playing the role, ain't she? Yeah. <laughs> that looks so disgusting, honestly, <laughs> in there. A train. Pressure. A train shoes. It's <laughs> good. I need Aww. to. I need to remember her name. Kimiko. Kimiko. Or Moncor. I'm gonna go with Kimiko. Fuck you going. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm just getting you your Purell. <laughs> Get the shit with aloe and come right back. Yeah, yeah, the aloe. It's really good. <laughs> Keeps your skin smooth. Okay. So they live in a dingy little warehouse now. <laughs> You know, that's crazy how that's just normal there. No one even like flinches. He's not him. He's on the run. Well, he hates him. Oh, yeah, and he's on the run. See what happens when you play the game? They put you on the billboards. See that justice never looks so good. <laughs> she cannot hide her face. The, the burner phone, did you snap the SIM card? She says. When was the last time you slept? Damn, dude? Man, damn. I'm wanted and you're kind of super famous, so uh did you snap the SIM card? Yes, I uh, yes. And no one followed me down here and they can't even trace my chip down here. We're okay. You look good. Yeah, you um you look good too. You look very <laughs> you know. Yeah, I'm lying. I'm sorry. You look like shit. I know. You look the same Where as are you normal. guys living? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like that in the first episode. I know. Club Med and that bees, uh, it's been awesome. Phone parties will change your life. Idiot. Oh, um, here it is. I know him from my Capes for Christ days. Are you sure you can do this? I have a choice. Hey, I, uh, I saw a really great picture of you at the Teen Choice Awards with, um, what's his name, Ansel Adams? Alden Aaron Wright. Uh-oh. Are you stalking me on Instagram? No, no, of I don't know who those people yourself. are. So did the PR people put you together? What, what's... No, he's a nice guy. He's an actor. Who didn't lie to my face every day. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I got it. Ouch. And you like shit, Huey. <laughs> Sorry, I... Huey, I... That would suck if you went to the Teen Choice Awards with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Get Even if it was an actor that was paid for, apparently. <laughs> no, she said no. I know you're safe. 
think water's supposed to be fun. <laughs> Try swimming in the Mariana Trench. Dark and it's cold and you're so alone. You're so goddamn alone. What is wrong with him? <laughs> oh, he went to jail for it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having like a whole so damn. Is he gonna fish? have a redemption arc, or is he <laughs> just here to just? I think get... he just wants to be in the ocean. <laughs> he's just out of. T <laughs> Ew! He sat on some gum. I think he's just made for the sea. You don't realize it yet. That's like their Hawkeye. Hey man, <laughs> want a fresca? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, you're a Raven. Raven Wing. Eagle the <laughs> Archer. Out of Cleveland, we met like five times at Vodcon. I mean, mm. you built me out. Yeah. Why? Because even heroes need a hand once in a while. Okay, Homelander. Got slogans, huh? <laughs> the Translucent franchise, especially Invisible Force 2, is... Please! My baby! <laughs> Shut Boy. your trap, you dumbass. They blamed it on Gosh. Billy, obviously, but... A bollock shot. A bollock shot. But that's exactly what William Butcher did. Chris Hansen. <laughs> You know who that is? Mm -hmm. C4, disgruntled perhaps over his deceased wife, a former Vaught employee. And why was Madeline Stillwell's baby found oh, safe okay. in a yard 17 miles away? It is a puzzle. Where is Monsieur Charcutier? <laughs> okay, baby, that guy who was talking, that's Chris Hansen. So basically, they would set up sting houses and put like little girls or little boys in or whatever, you know, like little teenagers. And then they'd have these really creepy people come over and they'd sit down and they'd be like, hey, how you doing? It was a long drive. And then they'd be like, they'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go. Uh, I'm just going to go use the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then he'd walk out and be like, hey, how you doing? And they'd catch him off guard. And then they'd ask him all these questions. And then when they would leave, they'd arrest him. Oh, it wow. just made for good TV. So that's why they brought him on. Oh, OK. So the baby's safe. It is a puzzle. <laughs> Why isn't he cold? Who cares? He could be dead. No, he's too much of an asshole to die. Or this man. Please call one eight eight eight. Christ. We gotta get out of here. Now. Good passports do not come cheap, huh? Mother's Milk needs to change a shirt. If you're wanted, you can't be walking around with a Wu-Tang Clan shirt on. <laughs> Why? Because that's so easy to identify. You got a Wu-Tang Clan shirt on. Just make it a plain shirt. Maybe we could not run. You are like a record that is broken. We shouldn't just give up. We get some Compound V. We bring it to the New York Times. We burn Vought to the ground. You got some V, Huey? We could get some. Someone could help us get it. And who might that be? No one. You did not hear the television? We are famous now. Butcher even more so. We don't need him. A.T. Med Hannibal. Dirty Dozen. Lee Marvin. Beatles. Brian Epstein. We don't need Butcher. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who's going to be our captain? You? <laughs> we got mother's milk. Just hear me out. Shut the f*** <laughs> up. <laughs> this is over. <laughs> That's her office. Do you think he even has a favorite color or is he like just that like far gone as a human? It, you know, it's really hard to psychoanalyze that guy. I have no idea. Please don't drink that. Please don't. <laughs> He's warming it up. <gasps> Vanilla bean coffee right there. I wish someone could take a picture of that so then we could bust him for being weird. That's all you got though, bro. You should save some. Homelander, <laughs> hi. Ashley. <clears throat> <laughs> She's back. Glad to see you're uh, making yourself at home. <clears throat> yeah. Renovation is definitely overdue. Huh. I liked it. Yeah, me too. It was really great. Homelander, I just want to thank you again. I was so surprised to get the call. <laughs> I am going to fill Miss uh -oh. Stillwell's shoes as best I can. Oh, so she's taking over for her. God rest her soul. God rest it. Yeah. <laughs> Any luck catching her killer, that butcher maniac? Not yet, but we will. Oh, good news. I think I found a hero. Perfect candidate to replace Translucent. He's in the gym right now. You want to meet him? Do I? <laughs> Lead the way. Do you think we'll meet someone powerful than Homelander? I don't know. Or more powerful, I should say. I guess we got to find out. Blind spot, right? A differently abled member of the Seven. <laughs> 
we're gonna pull through the roof with millennials. Inclusion's a big priority, priority to them right now. Then I think we find an ethnic or female, or fingers crossed, an ethnic female to replace the deep, and we're golden. <laughs> the Disney Show. Oh my God! Wow, you're. It's it's an honor, sir. Hold on. You can tell it's me. That's a, that's impressive. And you don't need super eyes when you have super ears. That is amazing. And you, my friend, are a true hero. Not because of what you do for a job, but because of what you've overcome. Thank you. <laughs> that means everything coming from you. Oh. Hey, guys, I just have one question, if that's okay. Yeah? Yeah. So, what happens if, uh, I don't know, I do this? <laughs> oh, oh no, gosh. you're just another useless f***ing blind guy. This must be some kind of a joke. Wow. Mm. What made you think I would ever allow a cripple into the seven? Don't look at him, look at me. Dang, only <laughs> Ashley, look at me. The only reason you're here and not doing corporate PR for f***ing diva cups is that I brought you here. You answer to me. Okay. Oh, that's okay. why. That's why she he brought her. From now on, I will set my own agenda and write my own talking points. You tell me everything that goes on on the 99th floor, and I mean... Everything, every call, email, group chat, if a light bulb goes out, you will tell me. And Ashley, in no f***ing way, do you decide who goes in the seven? I decide. Oh. That is so seven. jacked up, dude. Yes. He just took her hostage, basically. Well, I thought, honestly, I, I'm like liking that for some reason. Be, you're liking that he just did that to I like. I like that he's like The show just got better. No, the yeah, show just got better. Because it got better in that right. way. The reason I'm pausing a little more this episode is because we always have like this long talk in the middle of the episodes, guys. And I want to kind of, I want to lower those because people click off the video because we chat. And a lot of people honestly, believe it or not, think that the video is over. And so we're, we have an issue with that. So I'm going to pause it a little more and just discuss it if I have something to talk about. So sorry for pausing it. I think that dude is absolutely psychotic. He was such a fan and was basically saying, you're my inspiration, dude. And yeah. then he just did him like that. That is wild. But Homelander always has this way of like, you know, coming, like have coming into a conversation, making people feel good. Soft hearted. And then he He's always, he always says, I have a question. And then it's like the craziest, like corrupt thing that ever happens. I thought he was about to laser him in the face. I thought so too. Yeah, okay. <laughs> on Vodafy. America's hottest crime fighters giving law enforcement a superpower makeover. Coming this fall, Vod. Go ahead. When you advertise free Cinemax outside of your hotel, that ain't good, right? That means your hotel is it's garbage. Creepy, right? Yeah. <laughs> you might find crack under the pillow. Oh my god, what is this about to be? I want to get stuck with the cleaning bill. We're good, brothers. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we don't got to do this. <laughs> you can say no. So what's your poison? Your leg guy? An arm, please, actually. 400. He's about to cut his arm off? Oh, is that what they're doing? I don't know. Oh, I, had, uh, I had the wrong idea for a second. Uh... Oh, he lets people do it? It probably regenerates limbs or something? Um, saw or, or chop or... Whatever floats your boat, Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do for some money, I guess. That guy Loki was loving that. <laughs> that's gonna get everywhere, though. Well, that's why you put the sheet on. Bro, man, that ain't gonna stop that. It's splashing on the ceiling. Ew! <laughs> I, I, I keep the arm, right? I just keep it refrigerated. For an extra grand, I'll let you chop off my- I would never, because what if it doesn't grow back? What if that's the one time it doesn't work? For a grand? So that don't hurt at all? Maybe that's his superpower. Like he just doesn't have like feeling and he regenerates? Maybe. Or maybe he did feel it. Well, he didn't flinch. Maybe he's used to it. Does he be, he be what, what kind of service? How do you offer that? <laughs> Hey, Limb chopping, hey, 400 hey, of body work. What the hell happened? Sit him down, bring him over here. Uh, hey, look! They can't do that dying in a village one day. Ugh. Oh, shit. He's broken every single bone in his arms. I can't do nothing here. You gotta take him to the hospital. Translate for me, Frenchie. Tell him to take him to the hospital. Uh, do you want to go to the hospital? No, no, no. You know, because there's an accident. No, no, no. Find the hospital. Just deal with it. Move, move. What's going on? They're going to look at him. 
Mais elle a perdu la boule. Et il a blessé Louis. Ne te lâche pas. What did he say? What's going on? La soupe de lait. Frenchie, what did he say? What happened here? A ship? What does that mean? This? No one's seen it. I ain't trying to get life without parole. They promised me. You're only smuggling guns. Cocaine and fentanyl, not... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Magneto. That's a crazy superpower. They got paid to smuggle in a soup terrorist. Should be easy work for Homewinder, right? Right. Keep him distracted. How about this one? How does it make you feel? Anyone? <laughs> I hate it. That's a strong reaction, Margaret. I'd love to follow up on that. I just mean, it's really scary. Which means a double digit drop the opening weekend of the Tech Knight movie. Super villain is the better term. <laughs> Jill, ask them what they think about super villain. That sounds better to me. More exciting. <laughs> he thinks he's so smart, don't he? I know. Okay. He thinks he just knows everything. Which do you prefer? <laughs> They're going to be enemies. America? Can I get a show of hands? Okay, how about saving the world? Wow, unanimous strong reaction. So what is it about? These are like nope. focus it's case studies. Groups, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like saving the world has a... It's Americans that are going to keep us in the army, not the fucking world. It's saving America. Pull the trigger. Great. Thanks for letting me crash. <sighs> okay. Oh shit, you scared me. That's just Carol. Good friend. This is the deep. Why do we know her? Would you like a fresca? Where's she in? Just something recently. I didn't like her. Anyway, we've all been there. It's tough. Been where? Rock bottom. All right. <laughs> I think I'm at rock bottom. My aha moment came with a hostage situation at Kroger. Multiple shooters. I showed up. I'm letting arrows fly. My aim is perfect. There's only so many arrows a quiver can hold. <laughs> Just ran out. They never do, though. They never do, and <laughs> right. they always have enough arrows. Wait, Legolas had 10,000 yeah. good people that day. Then you start to. Question in like, arrows against tech nines. Uh, <laughs> but I came to see that archery Hold on one second. isn't irrelevant. It's time. What's she in? Jessica Hetch. Is that her name? Yeah, I gotta know so I can move on. Yeah, and yeah, focus. We need to know. Hang on. Breaking Bad. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Because, guys, we seen like, like I've said it a thousand times on this channel at this point, but. We started reacting originally, like the very first thing was Breaking Bad. I've seen it forever ago. She hasn't seen it, but she's old girl that hooked up with Walt and was like, "Let me give you all this money." And he's yeah, like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." He's like, "No, I can make it myself." Don't, don't, don't spoil don't... it. Oh. Don't spoil it. An ancient art. Carol helped me see that. <laughs> and what are you, his therapist or something? No. <laughs> you could say I'm his teacher. What about you, Dee? What about me? How did you end up here? You could tell her, Dee. <laughs> tell her what? By your self-esteem issues? I'm fine. This is a safe space, Dee. If you don't have any self-esteem issues, why are you constantly demeaning women? That's a good question, Dee. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he hasn't in a while. Well, we just want to help. No, thank you. Help you get back into the seven. <laughs> <laughs> you see the woman on the side of the machine? <laughs> that was like half naked. <laughs> You make this. <laughs> That's his immediate reaction. <laughs> okay, next crepe we see. Did you make it? Boy. I do not understand. What boy? Oh. Okay, so? They will wire the money from a blind account to smuggle the bastard in. Called Trail. I only said we will be safe here. Alright, what do we do? Why don't you just call 911? <laughs> Wait, an anonymous tip? Yeah, I'm sure that'll go straight to the mayor. What's your big plan, Huey? Okay, the CIA lady, right? The same CIA that wants to clamp our nuts <laughs> into some jumper cables. We could call Butcher. The last time, we don't need Butcher. Then what? That's the storyline we need to get to. Yeah. They're saving it for last, probably. 
We yeah. Should... That's probably like episode six Coin. or something. I was thinking the end of this episode. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you mean Starlight? Because that's who she is. Thought has her phone. So bugged. They're praying that you do that. Oh, no. You already have. No, no, I'm not. I'm not stupid. I texted her and then we met up, but we're getting some compound V. They could have been following you. They could be watching us right fucking now. If you're the fucking reason why I can't finish that Vermont country dollhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Vermont. Gosh. <laughs> Shit. I don't want to kick your ass, Huey. I just don't want to get dragged back into this shit, all right? I want to get home to my wife and my kid. If I still can. This guy could kill a lot of people. Huey, let somebody else handle it, okay? There's no one else. No one's coming to save us. You don't get it. You are not a soldier. You're just a kid that sells stereo equipment. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't have a job. <laughs> or Robin. No. Oh. Or my dad. Or Annie. Now all I have is this. So maybe I can't be Lee Marvin. But I could be Harry Potter, <laughs> or uh, you know John Connor, or or, or, or what's her name from uh, the Hunger Games? Katniss. Katniss. I have to see those. I haven't seen them yet. I could be that person that nobody thinks is awesome, but it turns out they're kind of fucking awesome. Listen, we helped the CIA lady. She could help you maybe get back to your family. Did you ever think of that? My baby needs a mother. Boy, shut your trap, you <laughs> <laughs> I wish they picked someone who actually like could impersonate him better. <laughs> I thought that was good. Starlight? Hi. Oh my god. Hi. Oh, he's gonna be embarrassed as hell in a minute. Are you <laughs> big time seven hero? Oh, you know, I, I work in Vaught Tower. Oh, you don't say. They're marketing the shit out of you. I'm happy for you, really. Buy you some coffee? Yeah, at the uh, Caves for Christ Bible Camp. Mm -hmm. Yes, totally. That passion play we put on. You were the best, Jesus. <laughs> he played Jesus in a play. <laughs> There's nobody in Sky watching over us. Well, technically, Homelander is. If you oh want to get technical. Not right. Homelander. Oh, never mind. Right, her Lies. whole life got changed when she found out she wasn't born with it. Yeah. I need a favor. Yeah, anything for a Bible camp alone. I need you to go into the labs on 67 and steal me a sample of Compound V. With the, black mail. with the blackmail. <laughs> I. Uh... I don't, I don't know what that is. Another lie. I mean, it's impossible. I'm a nobody there. They cut off my limbs and they grow back. I can't get you. I you have to. Or I put this on Facebook tonight. Dang, why y'all had the curtain open, though? Gecko. Is that really that embarrassing, though? I mean, I'm making some side money. It's cool. Where he is an S&M hooker as a side hustle. I mean, girls do OnlyFans. <laughs> it's about the same. <laughs> I thought that we were fun. I'm sorry. We're not anything. Dang. Hi, you know who we are. <laughs> but let's meet another hero. Dan and the other brave Marines of 2nd Battalion are helping keep you safe from the supervillain threat. And now we could use your support. Here I go, you guys. Wish me luck. FYI, not a real base. <laughs> you might recognize Army Boy as hotel clerk number two Hello? from Excuse The Devil's okay. Breath. Hello! <laughs> oh my god. She's live Hi! That. It's my name crazy. is your biggest fan. I'm Stormfront. Great. Your eyes are really f***ing blue up close. <laughs> you are fun. <laughs> you know, we're doing, so let's go back to it. His reaction oh, to her. Uh, they just wanted me to meet you. Oh, the boy's on 82. I'm the new girl. What are you talking about? I'm in the seven. She's what? like, she's okay, like so I didn't do it. Lucent. Yeah, she's like, no, that it wasn't me. Soul. Yeah, like, reporting oh for duty. It's not true. I don't know anything about this. Stormfront. <laughs> Who delivered the good news? Mr. Edgar, the big guy? Oh, you can't All challenge right. him. Homelander. I guess he great. can, just give him time. But 1.8 mil. Uh, I think this is going great. He's gonna expose no. them. Wait, John Cuse, oh. you wanna get back together with Stella? No. This ain't the way to do it, Huey. Calling her, texting her. She's on our side. I don't know, you're putting her in danger. Homelander finds out that she's been talking to you. The deeper you keep pushing her into this thing, the deeper in the meat grinder she goes. How are you guys doing? We're hanging in there. Has Butcher contacted you? Nope. He's completely ghosted. Do you think he killed Madeline Stillwell? I'd like to think that he didn't, but I don't know. <laughs> Do you ever... Hear about your family? Your daughter is uh, starting soccer, I think. Mm hmm. Soccer? 
Can MM see them? Let's see if this checks out, and I will see what I can do. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Black hair, wearing knockoff jeans and sneakers, probably from Taiwan, maybe India. You got all that from the video? So the other shoe drops, and it just crushes us all. I've been trying to put this puzzle together, and there's a missing piece, and it's been driving me nuts, and I think you just handed it to me. It's Vought. It's a f***ing coup from the inside. Wait, what are you talking about? They're creating the problem. Ma'am, your nose. What Shut just happened? Up. Go, 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 go! Nice what in the there. world? Uh, Percy, who do you know who could do that? No one! Oh, man, it's gonna explode! Look, I have a daughter. I'm worried about super terrorists, too. But that does not mean that Vought can use that fear to control us. They Mr. Hickard, what's that? Right, all right, Samantha. Busy day. Morning, Homelander. Figured I'd pay you a visit. After all, you run a superhero company and uh, you never check in with your superheroes. Around the hiring of that girl, for example. Do you wish to be consulted on Stormfront? I signed off on all the rest. I'm the leader of the Seven. For which you have my undying respect. See, I don't think I do. Oh, of course you know how important you are to everyone in Vought. No, no, Stan, I am Vought. My contract's up end of this year. Maybe it's time I uh, move on. How do you think your shareholders would feel about that? <laughs> that was so douchey, wasn't it? What do you know about Frederick Vaught, our esteemed founder? I only read his autobiography five times. <laughs> Got his doctorate from Munich, ahead of his time in genetics. In 39, Hitler appointed him chief physician at Dachau, where he oh. enjoyed a ready supply of human subjects on which to test his earliest iterations of compound B, for which we condemn in the strongest of possible terms. <laughs> Early in 44, he felt the winds change. When Oppenheimer was flailing with the bomb, Dr. Vault already had practical applications of compound V tested in the field. That's like Captain Heroes, America. Like mm -hmm. Soldier Boy killing Germans by the dozen. Roosevelt pardoned him, and he became as wonderbred American as Disney and Edison. Well, this is a truly fascinating, if not slightly condescending lecture, but <laughs> um, I don't think I see the point, Stan. <laughs> the point is, that you are under a misconception that we are a superhero company. We are not. What we are, really, is a pharmaceutical company. And you are not our most valuable asset. That would the be our v confidential is, yeah. formula for compound V, which right. you, man child that you are, released into the wild. Don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you slipped compound V to terrorists all over the globe to get you and your cronies into national defense but maybe at the cost of destroying the whole company. I don't think I appreciate your tone, sir. Not much at all. And I don't appreciate that the FDA now knows about Compound V, or that it's only a matter of time before the public finds out. While you're preening at the Golden Globes, we're busy running around like maniacs trying to clean up the mess you made. I don't have to consult you about Stormfront or anything else. I believe you have a premiere of Tech Night Lives to go to. <laughs> he is so mad. Yeah, he is. Oh no. You better have tacos. Amen. It's funny because he's so powerful, but he's so human in a way. Like he gets nervous and has anxiety. It seems like, doesn't it? Somewhat, not really to me. We just took a deep breath. What are you doing here? Yeah, because I thought he was about to yell at her or something. I'm see my son. <laughs> That's how they have to shower. Oh, so uh. glad you got us into this shit. Get a husband, right? Okay, okay, kid. Two. Yes. And I got her killed. We didn't get her killed. That wasn't meant for us. How do you know? Because our brains aren't all over the dash, that's how. Someone was watching her. The minute she says something she wasn't supposed to. Somebody from Vought? Hmm. Vought may have just assassinated the deputy director of the CIA. <laughs> and now we're in the middle of that too. It's funny because in real life, it's the CIA who will actually assassinate people. Hello? It's me. I'm on a burner phone. It's fine. Yeah, but somebody could be listening. He's getting me the compound V in like a day or two. What do you think? Um, New York Times? Just take a beat. Let's figure out the best way to do this. What happened? Nothing. Bot's just dangerous. That's all. I mean, you got to be careful. I don't want you getting hurt. 
I'm not gonna get. If something happened, you know you can trust me. We're in this together. No, I do trust you. It's just, I just want to take our time, you know, do this right. I know when you're not telling me the truth, Huey, I kind of lived with it every single day. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Not again. I'm not. I swear to God. I gotta go. Well, he doesn't want to see your head blow up. We've seen a lot of heads blowing up in the show. What in the heck? Is that Billy Butcher? All right, oh. easy does it, lads. <laughs> what the f are you wearing? Good question. You call them. It's not a game now. We need a real captain. <laughs> <laughs> We got a soup terrorist. Rain has blown a canister, and we're the most wanted cats in the country. Her canister. <laughs> what the heck? But don't you worry. Daddy's home. <laughs> <laughs> he just loves setting up Huey, don't he? I know. <laughs> Huey just has nothing, man. He just lied for the team and everything. <laughs> like, oh my god. Damn, was that it? Okay. All right, guys. Good thing Billy's back. So Billy's back. That's cool, man, because we need some of that that Australian sucker punch. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> that Australian just uh, potty mouth. He says the craziest stuff. Like, I, it's funny. I would have never said canister. I would have right. never. Or what did he say? The fudge one time. We're just very simple folk. Yeah, from Georgia, he, calls, you know what I mean? <laughs> he calls everything calls something wild. bizarre. Yeah. Uh, basically, I forgot the I forgot the lady's name. The um, head of the CIA. She got her Rainer. head blown up, Rainer. Mm -hmm. um, that's nuts, man. That was just a crazy scene. I wasn't expecting it. Me either. At all. But I'm, I've sort of realized that if you're a side character at all in this show, you're, you're probably going to get <laughs> murdered in a horrible way. So I feel like I learned a lot about this. I'm ready to get into the next episode, man. Go ahead and like the video because it helps out the algorithm. And I don't really like to ask. But to be honest, you two don't really do me no favors over here. I think it's got something against me. And, and what's uh, your favorite boys season? Comment below. All right, let us know, man, for sure. All right, let's go. The boys. For preparation and planning. PPP. This came out in 2020. Didn't realize it was so old. Well, it's not old at all, but you know what I mean. Oh, is he trying to figure out where he was at? So he's actually bothered, but he's just putting on a front for the boys. Mm-hmm. Good. Let's figure out what happened. Hi. Oh, I wish I was there. Where am I? Fort Wayne. In Indiana. Indiana, yeah. You've got a bit of paper, something I can write with. <laughs> <laughs> That's where he wrote it on. Federal authorities have initiated manhunt for William Butcher. <laughs> you gotta go. As well as endangering. <laughs> 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 I do not understand. Maybe she's trying to name their squad because they haven't been named yet. He's going to make a contact. What is their actual name? He left us for dead and now it's like nothing happened? I am sorry. Sorry that I trusted this lot was smart enough to save themselves like they've done a hundred times before. Technically, I call them back. <laughs> He's already dead when I blew her up. We're just going to pretend like this is normal? Well, who else are they going to follow? It's his pitch. It's so high at some points, and some points it's so low. Billy, butcher his pitch when he talks. You know, my dad, he had a ball from the 56 World Series. Oh, that's okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, his name's Ryan. You use your powers. What do you mean? You can't do that. You're my son. Has anyone told you what you're capable of? It's about time you found out. Hey, Ryan, come on, math time, buddy. Aw. You know, when I was his age, I was breaking the sound barrier. <laughs> <laughs> we thought it was best that he have as ordinary of a childhood as possible. Look, I just want my kid to be normal. Well, then it's a good thing I'm here. How long are you planning on staying? I don't like this. This is weird. Yeah. We got a deal. A deal that is alive and well and running around as free as a goddamn bird. Let's just try and be civil. Yeah, she really does not like him. <laughs> My ability to have long conversations. <laughs> we 
you don't mind. <laughs> There's no correct or incorrect answer. Oh. What is missing here? Oh. Your gills. How do you expect to be welcome back into the seven if you can't be honest with yourself? I don't know what the f you want from me. <laughs> What's up hey, with guys? the frescas? What's up with that? Is he sponsored or something? I don't think there's a path here. Leave it to me. See, you're just inhibited by suppressive energy. That's it. <laughs> just gotta realign things. What is it, Shrooms? I guess I call it more of a gateway. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wait, are you not gonna drink any? Oh, Dee, this is your journey. Oh, Did he just not. drink ayahuasca? <laughs> something like that. that. He just took? deeped him up something. Who's revving up the girl power in the seven? Keep watching WD. That looked like a root in a stem, right? <laughs> yeah. First and best source for local news. Is going again. Are you ready to meet the newest member of the seven? See it here first. WFAK. KMFT. WDCS. <laughs> She's like, has the Iron Man pose. <laughs> What does she do? Okay, ladies. Oh, she's ladies. not the new girl anymore. <laughs> Jesus, if she vibrates any faster, that stick up her ass is gonna explode. When? Where? What? <laughs> I gotta go. I'm sorry, family emergency. We've never had three women in the seven before. This is- <laughs> I have a family emergency too. You're too new. Today we say goodbye to Susan Rayner. And one day you will think of Susan with joy as well as sadness. And you are blessed to have your family arrangement. and your friends to help you carry it. You think you can surprise me? I literally taught you this one. <laughs> <laughs> you promised I'd never see you again. I promised not to come to your house again. I assume you sent the edible arrangement? A deluxe bereavement bouquet with white chocolate dipped pineapple doves. Mm. Raina would have loved that. I'm going to turn you in for the murder of Madeline Stillwell. Come off it, Grace. You really think I've done that? You really want me to answer that? Grace, I know who killed Rainer. Who? Yeah, who? I don't specifically, <laughs> technically have the answer. <laughs> we think Vault killed her for getting too close to something. Something to do with a soup terror smuggled in the jersey. Is there a superhero that can do vibrations? Not that I know of yet. You're only here because you're desperate and you want something. Grace, wait, 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 wait. Just hit me out. <laughs> Some goo goo dolls. <laughs> hey, in here, open up. Is that his gills? Talking to him? Oh, oh, because no. he's on. He took. Okay, because he's on drugs. I don't want to see. Bro, we gotta talk. Uh, uh. No, you gotta look at us. <laughs> Is he like super ashamed? Like that ashamed? That's why he didn't draw him. Remember Blech. Melissa Dabrowski? You were supposed to present her with Teacher of the Year, but you bailed while she was pulling her panties back on. Yeah, because she laughed at me. She just put her hands on your chest. You never even unzipped your suit. She would have laughed. You imagine women will laugh at us, so you humiliate them first. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> hey, hey, Ew. hey. His stomach's popping off at the gills, ain't he? Yeah. I have nothing else to say to you. We won't let you shut us up anymore, Kevin! Hey. Oh, his name's Kevin. <laughs> oh, yeah, man! Right here, brother. <laughs> why does he- why do they want him to, like, deal with this so bad? Like, who are they even? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good disguise. I know. She looks like Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Apparently your work. Still has Maggie Shaw as your emergency contact. Where else would I score this sweet jelly? <laughs> Turns out my appendix was about to burst. There are easier ways to get my attention. I kept thinking you'd call. Thanks for coming, but I sure you have more important places to be. You could die from something like this. Maeve, I'm fine, I promise. I'll wait a while. Congrats on the seven. Are you as excited to be here as I am? I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little about how girls get it done. Single or uh, spoken for? Single. Uh, single. Do girls make better heroes than boys? Shouldn't we all just, you know, be competent at our jobs? Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then her phone goes off. I feel like she's going to be trouble. 
You want to talk about girl power? Let's talk about getting some pockets. <laughs> <laughs> I pray for him every night. What if I told you he's right behind you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that awkward? <laughs> Welcome back. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy as hell. I know. This show just keeps getting crazier, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm with you. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> How is he good all of a sudden, though? How are you feeling? He healed. Compound V. <laughs> we were really worried about you. Were you? Who's Prince's guitar from Purple Rain? I was just like, I want that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what would have happened if I hadn't been there to give you CPR? That's good to know. Mm. Speak your mind. How does everyone feel about you helping your traitor boyfriend escape? Or maybe you didn't mention that part. Who did you mention that for? Oh no. Probably a blackmail thing he's gonna keep. I didn't realize his glasses had like a wraparound. <laughs> Just had a meeting with the Colonel. Colonel Mallory? <laughs> That's right, Frenchie. We get her the soup terrorist. And she's gonna get the CIA to scrub our records clean and get you back to your girls. How do we know you're telling the truth? 734 Central Ave, Newark. What does that mean? That's the address you gave me. And I'll bet you he's there. Ain't you lucky that I showed up, eh? <laughs> Melissa Dabrowski was oh my God. more than just another finger bang, you know? Or like that, you could have been happy. You deserve to be loved. <laughs> Take a look. A real look. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm the ugly one. No. Yes. You just don't see what I see. Why? <laughs> I can tell you hate this because your hand's clapping on mine. <laughs> you are so beautiful. <laughs> no. He's just crying. <laughs> so beautiful <laughs> to me. Ugh. I'm not. Yeah. Everything I hoped for, so beautiful to me. <laughs> you see, you're everything, everything I, need. I need. What the hell is this? You probably end up in a manatee's belly when your kid chucks it in the garbage. <laughs> I agree with you. You wearing a wire or something? Look at you. You're like the vaudiest vaught in all vaught. <laughs> what happened to your eye? Vaught is testing a new volumizing dry shampoo for eye irritation. <laughs> I brought you a sample. I can't take this right now. I literally have no pockets. If you threaten me again, I'm going to make sure that everyone knows that you're the one who took it. That's crazy. Tied with Gecko? Oh, we'll he's about to take it. I'd be like, Tampon, get away from me. Because it looked like you just put something in your boot. You're going to end up in Ohio. What's in my boot? I thought she did just put it in her boot. Maybe you shouldn't be hitting the crystal with your buddies quite so soon. Let's finish tickling these half wits so we can finally do our real job. <laughs> I'm not sure what to think about her yet. Right. I, I kind of like how she's yeah. so real, though. Right. I don't know yeah. if she's being real for real or she's just being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll be back in an hour. I'm going to go have coffee with Miss Bird. Yep. What's she about to do? Confront Homelander, probably. Maybe, I don't know. Why not? That seems dumb, right? Oh, God. Oh, no. Hmm. Interesting. That doesn't look like coffee with Mrs. Bird. He would never know about Ryan or me. That was the deal. Corporate has made a decision. You need to make him leave. Mm -mm. They can't do it. I think we both know that that's not possible. Wow. You have to protect us. There's just no putting the toothpaste back in the tube. You'll get bored and move on. He's stressful. <laughs> Maeve, what are you doing here? Elena, it's time to go. Homelander and I went to this Oscar party. There's this producer. He swapped place cards so he could sit next to me. Two days later, there's a fire in his office. They found his head in one room and his torso in another. I don't want him to do that to you. 
Homelander. Who? You think Homelander did that? The things that I've watched him do, the things he made me do. If he ever finds out about you, why then? Why the hell are you why coming are you here? Why telling me this now? Mm -hmm. I don't want you to hate me anymore. So that makes a lot of sense with Maeve, babe. Basically, she's super lonely, and it's just a common theme, like with Huey and everyone else. Like she's just lonely because. Homelander has her completely isolated mm -hmm. and she just is to the point where she's just not able to do it anymore. Yeah. I don't really have anyone to call though. You could call me. When I was your age, I didn't have many friends either. Can I tell you a secret? Man to man. I like his room. My dad and I, we never played catch in the yard with a World Series ball. I never had a dad or a mom. Mm. You didn't? It's hard, Ryan, being superior to every single other person on the planet. It's, it's, and gods, you should not have to feel that kind of pain. You and me. Always trying to have a, a like little partner. We're gods. Son, we can do anything we want. Yeah, because Homelander is just as lonely. Mm -hmm. That's a good feeling. And he just got told he's replaceable. <laughs> and now you and me can share it together. I, I should probably go to bed now, you know? Sure. I love you, son. You, you say it back. I love you, too. This is nice. He's like, you're not my dad. <laughs> he took he took this kid in. Imagine your dad being Homelander, though. <laughs> what the heck? He just found out You're today. Trouble. You need to leave. What happens one day when Ryan asks to go to a baseball game? How do you think he's going to feel when he finds out that you've lied to him his whole life? You think he's going to be happy? You were right. I'm not going to get bored and move on. I'm not going anywhere. Damn. Oh, no. How about some Jiffy Pop? <laughs> like on Scream? Hello, thin shot. I only got two of these, though. Tension. Are you okay? <laughs> that was that new girl. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my. Look. <laughs> Shining Light Liberation Army. You know this man? What the hell? I know. It's like looking up and seeing a mountain lion. <laughs> so that was her brother who did that thing? I guess. Boy. Girl. Her brother. That's what she was trying to say. He left that little origami. Wait, 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 wait. It's her brother. Boy. <laughs> No! But to be honest, if you're Billy though, you know what I mean? That man's on a one track mission. But that's who they smuggled in, right? Yeah. Well, why can't he join? Who, Frenchie? No, the guy. Maybe he will. It. Maybe that's the muscle they need. Billy's just too emotional right now. You don't know me. I'm not a sellout. Cool. I want to say everything that you're saying about. Maybe I think Vought's... You can say what you think. What if it's not safe? You are literally bulletproof. Oh, wonder. Right. She just doesn't okay. even know yet. Who's the greatest superhero of all time? Pippi Longstocking. Why? Drop the mask once in a while. She has that thing in her bed. <laughs> yes. Pippi Longstocking would bite a D. <laughs> all right, new girl. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she should check if it's still in there, though. No, Butcher! No, easy! Kill him, Butcher. She never would have seen her brother again. Easy! Arrest you with me. That's sort of highlighting the issue I have with X-Men. So, like, in this show, there's a fundamental difference in philosophy here. Huey's all like, well, what if he's nice? Like, what if he What if he does some nice, some good things? And Butcher's all like, yeah, but he has the ability to destroy everything. So, he just draws, like, a straight line. And that's kind of how X-Men was. Like, well, the it's premise not just of that. He's trying to take down Homelander, so he's trying to use that guy. Well, yeah, but why doesn't he think that way? Billy. Is it because he's just dumb and emotional? I'm saying that's what Billy's thinking. Billy wanted to shoot him. 
Yeah, to, but to take down Homelander because he was like, he's trying to use that. He's trying to use the thing that they were smuggling. Mm. Are you telling me that her family is worth more to you than you seeing your own? No, but Kamiko is one of us. It's like Huey's infected you both with a raging case of vagina. <laughs> Poor Huey. <laughs> Beck is alive. What? Vought's holding a captive somewhere. She had a little boy with her, a spitting image of Homelander. I thought he just wanted to humiliate me. And I woke up three hours later in a Tony Cicero's. I gotta find her. And I need your help to do it. I find a terrorist for Mallory. She finds Becca for me. That's the deal I made. I'm asking. Tough decision. Because we love Kim and Go. Kinda, she doesn't really talk, but we still love her. I know about Ne Chang a kid. Come in. Chanto Sagaseba Yokata. Aww. I've studied the one book, Bakimunda. No Koriwa Ikai Bundake, Ne Chang Kitakara. Who is Sexton? What? What are you doing in here? I, I, okay, look, you got me. I'm having a heavy flow day. It's. Uh... Oh no. What are you doing with this? He's about to eat it right now. He's about. This is not how it looks. Man, why are you answering questions from him? Why don't you whoop his ass? I just want you to think about me when you're getting the skin peeled off your face. Man, you gotta get him. You're not gonna tell anyone anything. Why is that? Because you killed your girlfriend. <laughs> you can't prove anything. Did she suffer? All those needles? I mean, one of them actually shattered the bone. Did you know mm. that? I mean, Ow. it doesn't look like an accident to me. You know, say if Sports Illustrated found out. <laughs> if you do that, if you do that, I'm gonna take you down right with me. And then we'll both be dead. I don't give a shit. Why do you leave out the door? <laughs> Quite slowly. Yeah, because he, he just ran off. Yeah, he sprinted up in there. <laughs> Saki, oh no. ほら、なんかない。奴らが来た。アメリカ人さ。キャンプもその周りのすべての村も破壊した。みんな死んじまった。どうでもいいのか。子供ごと学校が潰されたのも。ガスバック発で揺りかごの赤ん坊が焼か
Guys, that was the boys, <laughs> the beginning of season two. And to be honest, I think that uh, I think I'm way more into the show than I was in season one. That was yeah. so good. I think that we got so much depth on Homelander, for yeah. example. There's just so much going on with this episode about people being lonely. Yes. Right. That's sort of, I guess, is the theme. Right. Mm -hmm. So what did you think about this episode? I thought it was I thought it was good. I thought just like season one set up a lot of this stuff. We kind of got the background of Vought. Vought's even more corrupt now. Kind of because Homelander, but we know that Edgar is kind of over Homelander. So Homelander, I feel like he because Edgar kind of put him in his place. He was like, you know what? I'm going to go partner up with my son and we're going to take over the world. Father and son. See, I don't even understand that dynamic because how in the world could you look at Homelander like that and talk to Homelander like that? I mean, Bob must have some real control because at the end of the day, how do you stop Homelander? Right. I mean, he could take out the whole city. So right. for that man to stand up to him like that, Bot just must have their hand in everything even more than I've even imagined. And in my mind, they're they're they have a complete monopoly on the state. I well, mean, they control the media, thinking, the money, the banks, everything. Right. Well, I was thinking that maybe the reason why Homelander kind of holds back is you saw that girl's head get blown off. Well, they have trackers, the soups. So maybe like they could just blow it up. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Vought must really have some technology and some weapons. That's why I asked you in the middle of the reaction. Do we know any soups that have like a ability to like cause vibrations? Because I, I mean, was hypothetically, thinking of the deep wood because he. He has like sonar. Yeah. Like, not quite the same thing. But you know what I mean, though? Like if you could use like vibrate, like when her nose started bleeding, I was thinking maybe someone was sending like vibrations through her brain and it like um, caused like an aneurysm mm -hmm. or something. And then maybe the vibration was so violent but you can't see the vibration because it's just a frequency. But maybe it was so violent in her brain that it just caused right, a reaction. Right, right. So I don't know. They could have like vibe. I don't even know. I, I was thinking every. I was thinking Ant Man. Right. I was thinking maybe Ant Man went up in there and just like blew it up. I, have I didn't no know what idea. Yeah. I was thinking maybe. Dude, I was thinking maybe A Train ran by and just like either punched her in the nose real quick <laughs> and then ran by again and slap, like destroyed her head or something. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. What's but. crazy is they they know they're just not gonna tell us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I did not expect Madison Stillwell's death, and I did not expect Homelander to hit that poor blind kid. I did not expect <laughs> uh, the the agent to get her head blown up. Me either. I didn't expect that at some point in this episode, the deep was going to be basically on a trip, talking to his gills, <laughs> getting self affirmations from his own torso. Yeah, he was gilly depressed. <laughs> he was, wasn't he? He was so sad. Yeah, he's such a teenager. He's like using the term finger banging. <laughs> like but like, that. is he? But the thing is, I feel like he's going to have some type of redemption arc now. He's going to embrace his like gills. Right. And like, be like, I don't know. <laughs> he's going to walk around with his shirt off for the rest of the show. <laughs> I, I don't know. It seems like I can't put my finger on what type of character he is. Me either. A part of me thinks maybe he could be good. But then a part of me thinks he's just so like unaware and yeah. just bad. <laughs> I don't know. He's just a weird character. I think he's he the funniest He just wants to be character. in the seven again so bad. <laughs> Who's your favorite character so far? Uh, Definitely definitely Starlight. That's you like Starlight favorite. the most? Yeah. Really? I like Homelander the most. I like... I kind of do too. I like Homelander because he's just unique. He's a unique character. Like, because he's so unpredictable. He's the star of the show. Yeah, he's unpredictable and he's unhinged. Like, he... Anytime he's in the room, it's like... you. He's going to put on, like, a smile but do something crazy. I'm almost to the point with this show where... I get that Homelander is going to be awful. I understand that he has the capacity for like mass destruction. Yes. A part of me is kind of rooting for it because, <laughs> you know, in so many shows, there's something to root for. But in this show, dude, there's not much to root for. Right. right? In this We've show, said it multiple times. I'm always like emotionally attached to someone. I'm fighting for them. And this one, I'm like, whatever. Anyone can get it. Y'all have a world. good time. Y'all just right. blow up whoever you want. So I'm kind of I'm not getting attached to anyone. If Homelander does just go completely psycho, which I'm assuming he will, I'm just hoping that he puts on a good show when we do it. You know right. What I mean? And and Homelander's weird because, you know, last season he was so worried about getting into the military and all this stuff. And then that, that's kind of all changed this season already. He's I think Madison more... Stillwell was really pushing that. Yeah. And now. And maybe and maybe. Sorry to interrupt you, babe. I don't really have anything good to say, but I just think <laughs> you're right. Yeah, I, I just think it was I just think it's weird because that's what makes Homelander such a good character i think because you just never know with that guy the thing that makes homelander so interesting to me is he's so unhinged and all like i said vault must really have something over him vault must be a lot powerful than we're led to believe right because mm -hmm. there's no way that basically if i'm homelander man like you just can't tell me nothing like you're not going to challenge my ego you're not going to tell me what to do 
I'm basically going to just do whatever I want to do. And, you know, if I'm Homelander, of course. And so he said it himself. He's the most powerful being on the planet. And that's just lonely. Right. But I don't think he is. I, I really don't think he is. I think maybe Starlighter is uh, just as strong of a character. We just haven't seen it yet. Right. Have you got that vibe yet? Yeah. Yeah. Well, something else I also think is. Maybe Homelander, you know how he kind of went to his son and he was like, I don't have a mom or a dad. Maybe Vought's kind of his dad and mom. Oh, yeah. So sure. I feel like maybe that's some of why he kind of is holding back. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there's just a, that little bit of humanity in him. I'm maybe sure. we're watching the adolescent temper tantrums of Homelander. Maybe. Maybe as he grows into like, you know, his version of a young man, he'll eventually break away from his parents and carve his own destiny. And yeah. maybe we're going to see that in the show. Because maybe that, yeah, maybe that's kind of what Madel the death of Madeline kind of. And it symbolized awakened. that he was milking her like a baby. Yeah. Ugh. Like he was like an infant. His infant days are, he, he, he moved on to the milk in the fridge. Well, remember when I said that in a weird way, like Homelander is very sociopathic, but in so many ways he's human. Yeah. Kind of like when he, he did, like when he warmed the bottle and he was drinking the bottle and then the lady walked in, he was like embarrassed by it. He didn't want to get caught doing it, even though he could just burn her eyes out. Like on some level, he was embarrassed by it. So he's definitely self-aware to some extent. Right. He, right. Because he could very well just burn whoever's eyes out he wants and just run with it. But clearly, but, but at the same time, when we got to know Maeve's back character, like some more about Maeve, we found out that Homelander really destructs like everything in her life. He destroys everything. So kind of he doesn't care well so, it's the best way to keep you online keep right, you isolated and keep you like for whatever goal he yeah. has so interesting there i really i really kind of like that backstory with mave it was really sad though because mave maybe i kind of didn't really like care too much for her really but i i'm starting to feel like maybe in the end i will care more about her because i like mave's character she's, yeah to be 100 percent honest with you man mave's a little boring right now she doesn't she doesn't really jump off the screen. She's just a very like neutral background, not a background character, but it just seems like you know how Annie is right now. Yeah, like Maeve was that before, and she's just she's sort past of falling that. Off. Yeah, she's yeah. past that because Annie has it now. And then the new girl, what's her name? Storm, Storm Girl, Stormfront, Stormfront. Yeah, Stormfront. She's wild. Yeah, she's interesting. She's like a whole. I don't even know what to think about her right now, but she's kind of in the new limelight. So you know, it's just it just seems like whoever is new gets gets all this fame and the other person just is like whatever well every time there's a new character i think there's this captivation around the world of oh my god what can this person do how mm -hmm. can they save us uh one thing about homelander though i do want to say before i forget my point oh i think the reason homelander toes the line to some extent and plays by everyone's rules is because he could flip the script and go tyrannical mm -hmm. and i understand that but I think the thing about Homelander is there's some part of him that deeply needs the affection of the people. Even yeah. though it seems like he hates the people and he's an elitist and he thinks he's better than everyone. On some level, he needs that. Well, you theater. can tell in his speeches. You can tell in his speeches. Like because, he really thrives. Yeah, he like he gets the audience by like fake tearing up to things like that. No one really cares about. Or the more he about. can lie, yeah. manipulate and trick them, the more I think it just feeds his ego yeah. because he has this his whole entire reason for being is he's like a god amongst men right mm -hmm. and so the more he can just basically say whatever he wants to say and people listen to him i mean it's got to feel good on some level right and i think that if he disrupted that order it would just i think what happens i think he uses that for a substitution for his loneliness mm -hmm. and if he goes tyrannical he's not gonna have that crutch anymore and he's just gonna destroy the world and be by himself mm -hmm. you know and and he likes people looking at him valiantly which mm. He maybe does. I don't know. You know, he's he's really the most. It's kind of hard to tell. Isn't he's it? one of the most complex characters I've watched because I really don't know like what he's gonna do ever. Well, or say he's just unpredictable. Well, my thing is, obviously, I can't tell who's the bad guy in the show. Is it Vault or is it Homelander? And it's obviously a combination of the two. But I think well, at the end of the day, the show would be more interesting if the ultimate bad guy was Homelander. Right. Right. But I do think it's a mix, though, because, yeah. you know, it's even been started. They even said Vought was kind of founded on like World War Two and Adolf Hitler's crazy experiments. Kind of, I mean, well, it was, that, that was a green light to begin the trials and all. Right. I mean, it was the same kind of concept as Captain America. It was like the super soldier serum in World War Two. But anyways, um, so from the beginning, Vought was bad and they've just continued to carry that. And they've been like, what? They basically said they're as American as apple pie now. I don't know that I've bought. I'm, and obviously, they probably were bad, right? And this is just me playing devil's advocate. But 
like was Oppenheimer evil? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like Oppenheimer, you know, when they create these things, they're not necessarily trying to destroy the planet. So maybe Vought originally just realized maybe there was like a race, like an arms race for well, it or something. Well, yeah, you know? like maybe. kind of in Captain America too, they were doing it to like build morale for the army, do this and that. And it ended up being like Captain America was like strong. But so maybe the same thing for them. They were doing it to just have like w good warfare, but it turned into like a whole capitalized. Well, they, yeah, they realized yeah. they could make money off of it. Yeah, like every, every right. step of the way they could make money off that. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, this show is going absolutely crazy right now, guys. I really real. like I really like that aspect of it. Honestly, the this show is interesting stuff. Um, I really like it in that way. It's going to be controversial to say, but I think that's when the show's at its best. I think when Homelander's involved with bot and yeah, I just think that that's when the show's at its best. I really like I really like the Starlighter uh, storyline or the Starlight storyline. I really like that. I, I think the boys are great and they're awesome for the show. And Billy yeah. Butcher's just an iconic character. Yes, you know? he really is. He's but great. I think that storyline's the least interesting. Right, but I, just, I feel like it shifts, though. It does. Well, that one can be very interesting. It's mm -hmm. interesting because they're basically exposing Vault. Yeah. In, in small little increments. So Yeah. I, this this show's just good. I think, but like I said, man, I think when Homelander's on the screen and when he's dealing with these corporate people at bought and stuff, I think that's when the show is just really, really in his pocket and mm. at his best, man. And, I and he always knows stuff. He that's the thing about Homelander. He puts on like he doesn't know stuff, but he knows so much and it's like He's like, Hey, weren't you at the right? And then it'll and then it'll just hit you with it. Yeah. He's very good character. Very good. Uh, the thing about the show, man, is I wasn't really sure how I felt about it the first season. There's not too many shows I can ever think of in my life where I didn't really know how much I loved it early on, you know, and then I continued to give it a chance because before in my life, I didn't like something in the first 20 seconds of it. I'd be like, turn it off. Right. Um, this show has grown on me like a barnacle, man. I'm yeah. so interested in this world. I'm invested, actually. Uh, the people that I'm rooting for the most is Billy's ex-wife or wife or Becca. whatever the hell she is. Uh, Becca and the kid, man. Becca and Ryan. I just, I'm scared for the kid because that dude just needs to live a normal life, man. Homelander is going to come in and mess his psyche all up. Right. Because that, how weird would that be? Like, if I came home and like my dad was Homelander, I'd be like, this is something that I probably uh, miss, babe. Help me out. Homelander's damn convinced that his son's special. Well, as far as I'm concerned, everyone's born because when they were babies, they were given compound V. So mm -hmm. do you pass those genetics on? That's the thing. I do we even know that yet? We don't know that yet. Like if Star if Starlighter and why do I call her Starlighter? If they had a baby um with Huey, if she had a baby with Huey, would it have powers or would it just be I, I don't tweeting? know. I don't know because you know they put it in their veins, so you'd think it runs in their blood, you would think. Right, but they put a lot though. Yeah. I don't you know. know. I, mean? I, don't, I don't know. And it's something they have to constantly take. That's the thing, but so if that does happen, right? So let's say that does happen, then that's like probably a whole nother generation of those types of people. Which probably then, because, uh, you know, this generation knows that they got it through, like, Compound V. But then this whole new generation will probably be like, dude, I'm, like, actually odd. I think maybe I just answered one of my questions about Homelander and why he basically takes shit from these people. Maybe it's because if he doesn't have this whole entire corporation, there's no Compound V. And without Compound V, he's just your average Joe. But I don't, I don't think he gets injected with it anymore. I yeah, think right, I think only right, A-Train's, right. like, the one who's doing that potentially we got to figure it out man we got to figure it out uh compound and, and is very a mystery in itself too because obviously we just found out from edgar that it's the most important thing in the show basically yeah absolutely. so like knowing more about that will probably answer a lot of those questions for sure all right and we're definitely going to get them answered man uh like comment subscribe hit us up on patreon guys and we'll be back with more boys let's go